Greetings to this amazing Lawrence School community. Wow, this week has truly been a whirlwind. This is not how I wrote the ending of my second year as your superintendent. And I know it's not what you expected of 2020 either. First, let me say that whatever you are doing at home as you follow public health guidelines and social distancing requirements, this is the right thing to do. I want you to read, rest, watch movies together, play video games, Snapchat with your friends, make TikTok videos, cuddle with your children, walk your pets, and keep washing those hands and disinfecting items and surfaces. What you are doing to take care of yourself, your loved ones, and others is the right thing to do. This is not time for business as usual. As is often the case, the worst circumstances sometimes bring out the best in us. I have been inspired by this community's generosity and spirit, from the teachers and staff volunteering to serve more than 1,000 school meals to children each day, to the local businesses and individuals that have been emailing and offering donations, goods, and services to support our school families. Yes, our school buildings are closed for the remainder of the school year by governor's order, but student learning, support, and success will continue. We will be engaging our teachers virtually on next week. They will work together to plan for providing continuous learning opportunities for students beginning March 30th. This does not mean that screen time for our scholars will be from 8 a.m. to 3 p.m. We know that this is not what's best for our kids right now. Every family is different. We know this. Every family has different needs. Every family's daily routine will look different. Children learn during unstructured play. Teenagers learn by helping their siblings. Kids learn by doing chores around the house. They learn from spending time with their grandparents, whether in person or online. Today, we will survey our families to identify what supports you need. Our teachers will establish and communicate times when they will be available online to support students and families. Now, don't worry about technology. Our high school students have MacBooks. Middle schoolers have iPads, and we are working on a plan to distribute iPads to our elementary students. And don't worry if you don't have internet access. We can even load devices with learning resources that don't require connectivity. We will also do what we can to support families needing internet access. There also are plenty of offline opportunities all around us. Watch Wheel of Fortune with your younger learners and identify vowels and consonants. Cook with your third grader and talk about fractions as you measure ingredients. Play a math game with your middle schooler. Challenge your high schooler to pick an issue that's important to them and write a persuasive letter to a public official. Sing, play instruments, or dance together. And set aside time each day to read. Our teachers will provide guidance and support. They will start slow and share information a little at a time so as not to overwhelm you. They will be flexible to student and family needs. We will be sensitive to our teachers' needs. I understand that this is a stressful time for everyone. I'm especially sensitive to our class of 2020 seniors. I want to reassure our seniors that as soon as we are clear to do so, we will celebrate your accomplishments. You'll have your prom and your graduation. They will just be at a later time. My thanks to our staff, students, school families, and community partners. I appreciate your patience and partnership. We are a community of learners, and the emphasis right now is on community. We got this.